Hello everybody, this is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, coming at you live on Thursday morning in uh, beautiful New England. We've got the fall colors coming out and uh, wanted to bring some research to you today. Um, the paper we're talking about is Trigeminal Neuralgia and Chiropractic Care, a Case Report. Uh, this was out of the Journal of the Canadian Chiropractic Association in 2010. Um, this is a paper that is a, a case report. So it's one patient um, who is 68 year, year old woman uh, with a seven and a half year history of trigeminal neuralgia. Um, if you don't know what that is, trigeminal neuralgia is also uh, dubbed the suicide pain. It is facial pain on one side, unilateral, and it is searing pain, uh, often like a sharp stab or a hot uh, burn in the face here. Um, and it comes on unexpectedly and will go away quickly, but it is sporadic and very hard to uh, manage. And so it really is a terrible uh, affliction and the people that suffer from it, they really struggle. Um, so this is an interesting paper because a chiropractor uh, saw a patient for a period of 18 months, over a period of 18 months uh, in this paper. And during that time, the patient would, initi she initiated and did some uh, intense care for about six weeks and immediately after the first adjustment, she noticed a 50% reduction in that searing pain in her face. And then she would feel better, so she would stop coming in and then she would come back. But over time, her pain reduced by 75% over the 18 months. <clears throat> she did not get a complete resolution, but uh, there was relief where a lot of other um, modalities with trigeminal neuralgia, it's really tough. They, they, the modalities just have a hard time uh, helping with the pain because it's, it's such an intense, deep pain. Um, so we're gonna talk about it uh, for a second here today. Um, so trigeminal neuralgia has a prevalence. So that means uh, the, <clears throat> the men uh, tend to have it one in 1,000 and women tend to have it two and two out of 1,000. So women have it about twice as much as men. And then what's interesting in this paper, they said that um, in, an, in a primary care physician's career, so 35 years in a career, they would generally only see trigeminal neuralgia patients like four times, like four, four different patients over their career, and that chiropractors would see it less. And what I find in our upper cervical chiropractic office is that I've had more than that in my seven years in, in practice because of selection bias. So patients come in with upper cervical problems and often it relates to what's happening with this nerve. So I'm gonna break that down and explain that um, and explain why this patient had some results with chiropractic care in general. Um, so <clears throat> trigeminal neuralgia is a problem with the trigem fifth cranial nerve, the, the trigeminal nerve. Now that is a cranial nerve which comes out at the base of the skull actually before it goes down before the spinal cord, before nerves come out in the spinal cord in the spine. And so it looks something like this. Now uh, right, whoop, right down here is the nerve and you can see that it's coming out of the base of the brain stem, out of the brain and into the face. And so what it does is it innervates, there are three different parts to it. There is the V1, the V2, and the V3 nerve branches. And there is a central nucleus right here that's a very large nerve bundle and can get agitated. And so you'll have these three patterns and distributions of the nerve <clears throat> that look something like this. It's called a dermatome. And so you see here, uh, yeah, point this way, this way. So V1 tends to do this pattern, this purple pattern here. V2 tends to do this lighter purple pattern and V3 tends to do, do this pink pattern here. Uh, and so it's the, the eye, face, facial sensation of the above the eye here, uh, the, the maxilla or the, the kind of middle of the face and then the jaw. 
and that's that sensation in those nerves. And then what's interesting about this is that you also have C2, so the second cervical vertebra, and C3, uh, the yellow uh, pattern here. So they all kind of blend together there, but they're facial sensation. And what happens is that big nerve bundle here, right there, can get agitated by what? Lots of things. So in this paper, they talk about uh, three different mechanisms. So one, they talk about how the nerve itself may just be overfiring because of stimulation problems just from the brain and how the nerve works, as well as they talk about having uh, cervical problems down here that as you can see, we have this, there's a nerve that attaches up. It's called the trigeminal, uh, trigeminal cervical nucleus. And what that does is it fires up into that big nerve bundle in the, in the deep skull and it pushes some of the uh, pain pattern out into the face and can be a big driver for pain, which could be coming from the neck. Now it also talks about the TMJ and how the TMJ might have been part of the problem. But what I find in my practice as well is that the TMJ tends to take a lot of direction and input from what's happening at the base of the skull. <clears throat> and so what happened over time was this patient got some adjustments to her upper cervical spine at, at, at a full spine chiropractic office. She got upper cervical adjustments to C1, C2, and C3 at that trigeminal cervical nucleus, and it reduced the pain because she was uh, noticing that, I'll show you this picture here, she was having some problems with her cervical spine. So when we talk about cervical spine alignment, we like to have a nice curve, uh, sorry, like this, 30 to 40 degrees, but this patient, she had had a uh, lack of curve, which actually this is her x-ray right here. That looks something like this. So if you see this picture here, this is not good. This is a very straight neck, sorry, here, very straight neck compared to what we like to see in this picture here. We like to see that nice even curve. So you can tell that she had some problems with her cervical spine and it was causing that pain driving up into her face, or part of it at least. And so what they do, if you, if you don't go to a chiropractor, if you um, go to the medical doctor, they, either, they do one of a handful of things. One, they'll do PT, um, which can help, right? And that, that can help massage and movement will help release tension in that spine and in that, in that nerve bundle, as well as they may do some medication like car, carb, carbamazepine, uh, or some <clears throat> antidepressants uh, which have side effects like fatigue and nausea and forgetfulness. Um, and so this patient actually reported that and said that you know she didn't like the medication because it made her feel that way. And then as well, they might do what we call a decompression or a compression surgery. So you see the, the nerve bundle here and then the artery here, this the superior cerebellar artery, it can at sometimes they think, they hypothesize that it can be compressing that, that nerve bundle. But what they find, you know, they might do the surgery, which I'm gonna show the picture here, but this is the, the, where they go in, right? In the back of the skull. And sometimes they might do that surgery and it doesn't release the pain because it may not be coming from that, that artery. So having the neck checked, uh, in this patient's case, she, she saw uh, results with getting her neck checked and, and adjusted in that upper cervical area. And so if you're suffering from trigeminal neuralgia, it would be a good idea to at least have your upper neck looked at before you go and look at doing surgery or medication um, because uh, you know the outcomes may not be there. They may not get you the result you're looking for. And so with gentle upper cervical chiropractic care, uh, you may get some relief there. Uh, so again, uh, trigeminal neuralgia is a very serious pain uh, that uh, it tends to affect more women than men. Um, and the options out there, uh, chiropractic, PT, uh, medications, but chiropractic being the uh, conservative option there along with PT would be a conservative option. And so if you are looking for a good upper cervical chiropractor, give our office a call. Um, Again, Dr. Tyler Evans, a retake chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. 
Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Have a great day.